these are the qualities that the Regional Chamber brings to the Youngstown Warren area. From projects of momentous magnitude to small startups involving cutting-edge technologies, the Chamber is leading the charge to help diversify our region's economic base, creating jobs and garnering the attention of the world. While most communities had little to celebrate in 2010, such was not the case in the Valley. The Regional Chamber completed 19 projects that will result in a staggering $776 million to be invested. These projects are expected to create 1,209 new jobs, retain or maintain 1,499 jobs, and construct or absorb 1.8 million square feet of building space. The Chamber may boast of such projects because of our team's targeted economic development efforts on specific fronts. It is estimated that 80% of any community's job growth will come from existing firms. As a result, the Regional Chamber's Business Retention and Expansion Team is proactively interacting with local executives every day so that they can invest and grow here. In 2010, we conducted 880 retention and expansion meetings with area business leaders. Whether we supply them with information on available properties or securing tax abatements, tax credits, low interest financing and much more, we gave them the tools they needed to invest or create jobs right here at home. A sampling of the team's efforts last year includes our being there every step of the way with V&M star officials, leading to their decision to build a $650 million project in the Valley instead of other locations they considered generating 350 direct, well-paying jobs and more than 400 construction positions. This 1 million square foot state-of-the-art complex is the Valley's single largest manufacturing construction project since the GM Lordstown complex was built. And it is one of America's largest economic development endeavors. So big, in fact, that President Obama had to see it firsthand. We also continued to work with VXI in the city of Youngstown so that the company could grow its downtown footprint. After being convinced to locate here in 2009, the company expanded in 2010. This will result in the creation of more than a thousand jobs in the central business district. On the business attraction front, our efforts were very aggressive in 2010. We generated 72 leads from non-local companies looking for places to establish operations. This led to 36 visits to the area from executives charged with choosing a site. To generate these domestic leads, we traveled three times to major symposiums to meet with leading site selection decision makers, participated in the American Wind Energy Association Annual Conference in Dallas and the North American Material Handling and Logistics Show in Cleveland, traveled to Houston, San Antonio and Pittsburgh to meet with targeted company executives involved with developing products for natural gas exploration, placed targeted advertisements in the Wall Street Journal, and in partnership with Congressman Tim Ryan in the Greater Akron Chamber, hosted 16 executives from six of America's largest defense contractors. From these efforts, one chief success in 2010 was securing TMK IPSCO's new steel tubular products threading facility. After an intensive evaluation of all of their options, company leaders were convinced to locate an impressive $10 million 128,000 square foot project in the valley that is creating 120 new jobs. Another success was Revere Data. The San Francisco-based tech company decided to locate a new research center here instead of growing its footprint in India. Their move to Youngstown created knowledge-based economy jobs in the newly renovated Semple Building. The Chamber is also helping startup businesses take flight through our Regional Entrepreneurial Assistance Channel Program. Our REACH team counseled 120 clients, launching five new firms. Benefits from past year's Chamber projects continued to be spotlighted in 2010, too. The GM Lordstown Complex began production of the long-anticipated Chevy Cruze. This new product is receiving high praise by industry experts, and the ripple effect of three shifts at GM in supplier production is adding significant fuel to our local economy. Construction is also nearing completion on Patriot Special Metals' new plant. This 210,000 square foot complex will use first of its kind technology in the U.S. to produce highly specialized metals. Reinforcement Systems, a leading reinforcement steel producer, is also nearly finished with its new Warren plant and headquarters. In 2010, the Chamber's international business attraction efforts propelled its development initiatives on a global scale as we signed a memo of understanding with officials from Shandong Province, the province with the third highest GDP. 
This MOU will lead to Shandong-based companies' consideration of the Valley when looking to invest in the U.S. The Chamber hosted one of Asia's largest wind turbine manufacturers, which is looking at U.S. locations for future expansion, plus hosted one of Asia's largest LED light manufacturers, which too is scouting the U.S. for expansion sites. The Chamber co-sponsored with the Youngstown Area Jewish Federation a business development mission to Israel, which led to a strong forging of ties. In June 2010, we hosted some of Israel's most renowned clean technology companies at Youngstown State University's Sustainable Energy Forum. The Chamber traveled the globe in 2010 in pursuit of bringing jobs to the Valley, meeting with companies and agencies in the Netherlands and Germany, setting the stage for future collaborations in their North American expansion plans. The Korean trade investment agency, Kotra, also hosted the Chamber in November for its first Electric Vehicle Technology Business to Business Summit. These efforts are yielding results as we are now working with eight companies in the city of Zibo, China and Shandong Province to help with business to business initiatives that will give Valley companies opportunities to export products into high growth markets. In addition, we helped Youngstown's Turning Technologies move forward with the opening of its first overseas office in Amsterdam. The Chamber provided research and logistical support to help foster Turning's decision. To go hand in hand with all of these exciting endeavors, the Chamber created a world-class international marketing publication that is being distributed to decision makers we interact with around the world. The book features stories on some of our Valley's most successful businesses and equally showcases our beloved quality of life. And finally, the Chamber is working to establish a World Trade Center in Youngstown, a proposed 56,000 square foot office tower that we envision as the anchor for international companies locating in the Mahoning Valley. All of these achievements are causing the economic development world to take notice, as 2010 would bring many accolades. The International Economic Development Council presented the Chamber with its prestigious Excellence in Economic Development Award. This major honor was presented to the Chamber for our efforts in helping to secure VM Star's expansion. We were also recognized by Team NEO as a finalist for the Business Attraction Project of the Year Award. This acknowledgement celebrated the work of the Chamber in the city of Youngstown in locating VXI's contact center downtown. Finally, the Mid-America Economic Development Council named the Regional Chamber a first place winner for its annual economic development video and report. The impact of these efforts is evident in the Brookings Institution report on how the Youngstown Warren area led the nation in manufacturing job growth in the second quarter of 2010. BBC America reported that the area's high-tech sector is leading to a Rust Belt revival, and Forbes named Metropolitan Youngstown Warren the fourth best place in the U.S. to find a job this winter. As we move into the next decade, the Regional Chamber will work tirelessly to enhance the Valley's economic fortunes by leveraging our advanced metals and materials expertise and utilizing our proximity to natural gas exploration in the Marcella Shale Field. Our location and expertise position us well to attract jobs and businesses supporting one of America's most promising economic drivers and sources of energy independence. In addition, we will be at the forefront of the Tech Belt Initiative that is working to continue the transition of the Cleveland, Youngstown, Warren, Pittsburgh region into a technology and knowledge-based economy centered around our industrial and academic assets. Of course, behind all of our hard work is the funding arm of the Economic Development Division, the Youngstown, Warren Regional Chamber Foundation. We truly could not carry out our efforts without all of the leaders who invest in this foundation, as it is only through their continued dedication and generosity that we are able to be the agent of change in our community. So as 2010 came to a close, we not only stood in awe of what the Youngstown Warren region accomplished, but were proud of our role in the Valley's resurgence. For where do projects go? They go where the light never fades, where pride dominates, hope radiates, and a new dawn heralds a future full of promise.